Well, I'm back out here for a nice two-night backcountry camping trip in Algonquin Provincial Park. A little bit different this time because uh, Tim is already up here. So I came up camping by myself. I was up here, it was great, and then all of a sudden Ben showed up. This was wonderful. Uh, today is a beautiful day. It was warm. I mean, relatively warm. I mean, it was still below zero, but it was way warmer than it was the last time I was here. So one thing that's really good about being the second person here when somebody's already come up the day before is uh, they've already gathered a whole ton of firewood. <laughs> the snow is so deep, it's amazing. You get off a trail and you step one foot and you go this deep into the snow. It's incredible. Dug out our fire pit where we have the fire, made it a little bit bigger so we could sit around it more easily. Also dug a little cave to store our wood in in case it gets wet because we are expecting the possibility of rain or freezing rain tomorrow. I went for a bit of a hike. I decided I would hike around um, over to the railway line and back over by the New Lake Waterfall and come back around to my camp. I'm on the old railway bike trail. Um, I went that way. I can continue all the way to Rock Lake. It's a long way. One day I'm gonna do that. Maybe not in the winter, uh, but definitely gotta do that one day. I'd like to do the whole length of this. But for now, I'm gonna be heading that way, which will take me back towards uh, the uh, Highland Backpacking Trail. I'll cross over near the Mule Lake Waterfall and then head back to my campsite. Hiking by the uh, New Lake Waterfall, and somebody has set up a camp right on the edge of it, right where you'd want to sit and look out over it. I kind of don't think you're quite allowed to do that. Uh, you're supposed to be at least 30 meters from trail and water, and uh, that's kind of like two meters from the trail and two meters from water, so it's a nice spot. But yeah, they're probably not allowed to do that. <laughs> All right, wow, this is cool. Look at this, the, the snow fleas in this footprint. It's amazing, there's so many. They're just, they're jumping around and it's like somebody's poured a bunch of black powder in there. It's really cool. There's my tent all set up. Uh, I've got it rather high because it's in a sort of traffic area where we need to walk back and forth. Uh, so we can just about clear it. Um, it's a little, gonna be a little high to get into. I'll have to use my sled as a, a step or something. Now the fire pit, it's in the same spot that we had it before, but uh, we're expecting wind from sort of that direction, which means if we're sitting where we normally sit, um, we're gonna get smoke in our face. So I had to dig out our little hole, quite a bit bigger, which I've done, and uh, also dug in a little cave over there where we can store some of our, uh, wood to keep it dry because we are expecting tomorrow potentially some rain and freezing rain. So uh, I just hope it gets a little colder and we don't get rain and freezing rain. That'd be better, but we got more room here and a little shelter for our wood. We've got a fire going. We're going to cook some dinner. I am one slice of pizza shorter than I was when I got here because I foolishly left it out on top of my cooler bag because my cooler bag was not really cold inside and I wanted it to stay cool. And even though Tim was around the campsite, uh, Pine Martin came by and it appears that he escaped with one of my slices. Yeah, don't do that. So just sitting around the fire, we got a nice fire going, it's nice and hot. A little bit too hot sometimes. <laughs> I can't get further back because of the wall of snow behind me. Um, but we're out here enjoying the on my first night, Tim's second night out here, uh, maybe the last of our enjoyment time because uh, we looked at the weather and it's supposed to start getting a little warmer, but then raining and then getting a little colder, turning to freezing rain. 
And then the wind picks up and we're going to have, you know, winds 50 kilometers an hour or so. So that's for all day tomorrow. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. So we might as well enjoy our, our night right now. So Tim and I are out for a little hike. We're going to check out the uh, waterfall. And uh, then we'll head back and have one last roar of the fire before before we turn in for the night. Um, yeah, I'd love to show you around and see what it's like at night here. It's beautiful. Um, <laughs> you just can't see anything. It's dark. It's dark. <laughs> the moon's not out. Uh, so it is very, very dark. <laughs> It's morning. Um, I've been lying here for quite a while because the rain has come and uh, it's coming in waves. It'll rain for maybe 15, 20 minutes and then stop. We're in a, a stopped moment right now, uh, but everything's soaking wet. So I don't even know if I want to get out of the tent yet because what's going to happen if I do and it's going to be out there for the next wave of rain. Um, so for now, I'm just going to lie here. Uh, and then I'll see what happens. Oh boy, rain is not my favorite thing when I'm winter camping. Or summer camping for that matter, but it's way worse in the winter. Uh, it warmed up overnight and uh, it started to rain. First freezing rain. Uh, and then it turned to rain throughout the day. <laughs> That's probably the worst kind of weather you can have when you're winter camping. It's very uncomfortable. Uh, in fact, if we weren't close enough to the uh, the start of the trail where the comfort station is and everything, uh, it could actually be quite dangerous because you get wet and you cannot get dry. We decided to go to the visitor center and hang out there for a little while and get something to eat. Kind of like cheating, but you know, we break the rules once in a while. Yes, here we are out in the bush. We just uh, got a fire going and had some lunch. This is just a Photoshop green screen behind us to make it look like a restaurant. At the visitor center, we decided to watch the little movie that they have there in the theater, a 12 minute about the history of the park and everything. So it was quite interesting. Got us thinking about summer camping again and getting out in the canoe and it's nice and warm out. So something to look forward to. The rain has started again and we have decided to go for a hike. I guess it's better to be moving and doing something while it's raining than just sitting still getting wet at the campsite. So that's what we're doing. We're hiking towards the uh, waterfall and uh, basically going to do the same loop that I did, but in reverse. Hey, uh, walking the trail. <laughs> and there's Tim with his umbrella. Here we go. What really sucks about this is I've got the raincoat over my regular winter coat and it's extremely hot hiking. I am sweating like crazy. This is things you shouldn't do in the winter. You don't want to overheat. I am well overheated uh, and soaking wet as well. <laughs> so I think uh, after this, I'm gonna have to find some way to dry out. Uh, <laughs> otherwise they're gonna be really cold when it does cool down. But still, it's a nice hike. Uh, I like this trail. Um, I'm almost at the railway line now, and then it'll be a fairly easy hike over to the airfield from there, and then I'll head back to the campsite. It'll be totally soaking wet. <laughs> Not bad weather. Beautiful out. Uh, in the evening, I walked out to the comfort station, gathered up some change, and uh, use the uh, laundry room they had there to dry up all the clothes. So that was extremely handy. If we hadn't had that, I don't know how it would have lasted the night because with everything wet, it would have frozen solid. It would have been brutal. Well, the rain finally stopped, thankfully. Um, was waiting for that. Uh, and now it has turned to snow, which we were expecting. A lot of snow actually and uh, the wind has just started to pick up so we finally got a fire going which is great we're gonna have some dinner I'm not sure how long we'll end up sitting out in this but uh, 
at least it's not rain and that is amazing. It's our last morning. Last night was uh, quite windy. It was snowing for a good part of the night and uh, we've got about probably 10 centimeters of fresh uh, snow. It's very fluffy, so that's good. Um, I've just got up. I'm just gonna walk around to get warm. Uh, then it's time to start packing up and uh, heading out. <laughs> Thank you. 